What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Bitcoin and Coinbase. So we'll take a look at the price action on these two instruments. Most importantly we'll be talking about how Bitcoin has been reacting and it's also a follow-up to my yesterday video that I did on cryptos and I talked about Bitcoin and then as I'm adding some more stocks to my list. We'll take a look at this Coinbase as well. So now, so let's start off with Bitcoin here, guys. And also, please note, none of this is any financial advice. This is only for education purposes. I'm only sharing my opinion. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. OK, now, um, so there are a couple of things here with Bitcoin that we have been talking about. Um, we did break this trend line to the downside. And since then, I have been saying that this thing has become to the downside now. So the action, everything on Bitcoin that is happening right now, it's on the hourly interval. So let me take you right over there after I just adjust something real quick over here. Okay, all looking good. Now let's go to the hourly interval, guys. All right, guys, so looking at the price action where it is and some of the things that we talked about yesterday. So you already know that we broke this trend line that was going to the upside. And when we broke this trend line, we did a retest as well to this and we then kept selling off from there. And then we formed a new pivot line as well that I talked about that I have been talking about from last couple of days. And that is this lower moving this black trend line that you are seeing here, right? So we came back up and we kept rejecting this, right? This is where we talked about that this is a again a retest and if it continues to fail, we're just going to keep heading lower and lower. Now yesterday when I did the video, we we are continuously following this video oh, sorry <laughs> following this trend line to the downside and then i talked about at very this around level that sixty-seven thousand dollars. as we continue to break this we will be testing this level of sixty-five thousand. uh sorry not just sixty-five thousand, but also yes yeah, sorry sorry sixty-five thousand level because of this previous close support there and then um that's where that red line is from and then um as if we continue to go lower you know there's there's a room that um yeah there's a room that we can head lower and also even the down to sixty one thousand dollars we haven't gotten to sixty one thousand dollars yet which is good uh, but so the important thing is that we have to see the price action at these levels right so there are two things happening here with bitcoin one is it is still rejecting you can see still rejecting at that lower trend line however this is at again a critical level so you you can see this red line here right i'm just going to get rid of this for now because we already oops we already have our level there right now we we are at the same time let's go a little bit back from this price action what happened before this what is the story of the buyers and the seller before this action so we came back down to this very same previous demand zone level because why it's a demand zone because this is where that wick is formed and some bounce came but yes, we, because we are in the downtrend, so all in all, we are still rejecting that downside right now. So we haven't seen a break of structure to the upside yet. But however, also remember here, what we are we seeing at that same previous demand zone, we formed a double bottom recently. Now, this can, as if look at this candle, as if we get out of this trend line and this level of 67,119, if we get out of it, Bitcoin has a potential to come back to $69,000. So depending on if you're an intraday trader or swing trader or whatever, like this, this forms a some sort of upside potentially can come. However, you have to have a stop loss regardless. That stop loss could be somewhere here, could be somewhere here. That's up to you. But we are still in the downtrend though. Okay, so a little bit of a fake out out of the trend line, you know, it's fine but it makes it makes it a possible move potentially back to $69,000. Now, that will still be a break a little bit to the upside in the downtrend only though, okay? And then we have to see the price action at $69,000, but that's a likelihood. Otherwise, if we continue to reject this trend line, guys, we continue to go lower, then guys, we are heading lower, okay? We are heading down to $61,000 now, but wow, look at it. As I'm just talking, we broke out of that trend line. Let's see if this hourly candle has strength enough that it can continue to go up this trend line because this is just not breaking this trend line. It is also breaking this significant level, which means it is breaking a bit of a structure 
and this may bring Bitcoin back to $69,000, okay? And then you have to see how it reacts in this area or fizzles out or goes lower, but you have to have a stop loss regardless. All right, so that's with Bitcoin right now, guys. It's very simple. Um, I'll keep providing updates, you know, um, but let's jump to Coinbase now. Let's do that. And so what, what is happening with Coinbase here? Um, so I'm on the hourly interval. I'm going to turn on the intraday levels as well on this thing. And so let's go to the daily interval first on this, so Coinbase. And what we are seeing here is, guys, that this thing right now has been going up and up and up. It's in an uptrend. It's not at all-time highs, so, but it's not that far away from that. The next level is 367. It's not showing up right now on my chart because you can just set the, the timeline on my indicator. Um, again, tools, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below, but you can just adjust the timeline here. I just know that level exists there, and right now we don't even need to worry about it because we are not in that zone to take a look at that level. It's not important. We, there's other things happening before that. So what am I seeing with Coinbase in the last trading day is that it's trying to find support just above 20 days moving average. And it's not just that support. So yes, this is a cool off that happened back to 20 days moving average, but is it a short play here? Technically, no, we are still in the uptrend. And most importantly, with Coinbase here, if I take you to the hourly interval, what am I seeing here is that we have a sort of break of the structure. What is that break of structure? That break of structure is right around here. And what is that? So we gapped down, however, market bought it back up. So the gap down, if it doesn't see a follow through and it's it goes up and also gets out of some levels, like it got above 200 hours moving average, guys, that's a break of structure. Uh, that just shows you that it's a failure to the downside because the gap down failed, things got bought back up. Now, we are still not out of the woods yet though, all right? Why, why do I mean that? What, what do I mean by that? You are seeing these two wicks here, right? Like this is an area of consolidation and the wicks, strong wicks that have formed. Now, this has, this is a resistance zone right now, all right? So right now, there are two things that can happen on Coinbase. On intraday swing, however you want to do it, but this is the level you are watching, 245 and 55 cents. If it does a clean breakout above it, it's a continuation to the upside again to test at least 217 possibly because this also falls in the confluence with the inverted head and shoulder as it forms. However, if we lose this level of 234 again, this is heading lower and testing 222. And if we continue to lose that, it's heading lower. So you have to trade with this price action as it forms around these levels and then you are taking that direction. But yes, so far looking like intraday, as long as it holds this level of 233 and 60 cents, it has a room to at least intraday go up and then we'll see the new price action levels. And if it breaks 235, it goes below that, it's a continuation to the downside play. Now you get the areas that you are watching with your potential stop losses as well, right? Um, there's a potential that even if it comes lower and it fails to break 223, so you have a ranges, right? You're building 233 to 222. This could be traded as short. As if it though holds 222, this may start to show some sign of either consolidation or again, rejects at 236 and start heading much lower. So anything below 234, I would say is where you got to be a little bit careful because things will like start to look to that continuation to the downside. If we break above 245, this forms a confluence with inverted head and shoulder, break of the pattern or the structure, and intraday at least longs to 271, and this could be also a day or two of swing play. And then we have, we have to see if the price will break the recent all-time highs or not. And then for that, there are other things in the price section like pullbacks and the support levels of the trend line or the pivots that we'll talk about when the price section forms it that way, okay? Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this video then. Um, if you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.